let's talk about Louisiana because they are now on the verge of becoming the first state in the country to require public schools to post a copy of the Ten Commandments in every classroom. Other states have tried this, including Oklahoma. None of them have found a way to make it work while avoiding lawsuits and all that stuff, which is why they haven't passed these laws. But in Louisiana, it's now pretty much as close as it's going to get to becoming a law. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about this. Let me show you the page on the state's website, uh, because a couple things you want to check out here. This is the law. This is the bill. It's HB 71 by Representative Dodie Horton. Back to her in a second. But a couple interesting things on this. It was filed on February 8th. You can see right here, check this part out, uh, the House, the State House passed it 82 to 19. I mean, Louisiana is a red state, but it ain't that red, which means some Democrats voted with Republicans to pass this bill in the House. Nine, all 19 of those nays over there, those were all Democrats. But some Democrats said yes to this as well. It went over to the Senate. They made a change, which we will talk about in a second. But you could see right over here. What does that say? It says it passed by a vote of 30 yeas and eight nays, which once again, all eight of those nays were Democrats, but some Democrats also voted for it. So now it's going through some procedural motions and it'll get to the governor's desk soon enough. But let's talk about what this bill says and why it's disturbing, okay? Because this is just a mess waiting to happen. Countless people are saying this is a lawsuit that's going to happen, and I don't think anyone is paying attention here. Here's what this website, uh, here's what this bill, rather, says. Let's go through parts of this together. Um, the important bits here is uh, right here. Look at this. The minimum requirement right here is that the Ten Commandments are displayed on a poster or document that is at least 11 inches by 14 inches, which is pretty big size poster right there. And it even says, oh, the text of the Ten Commandments shall be the central focus of the poster. Like, no side comments, nothing else, no distractions, whatever. It has to be printed in a large, easily readable font. And then it tells you what the Ten Commandments must have on the poster. And I just want to, let's count, shall we? Because this could be fun. Uh, the Ten Commandments, I am thy Lord, thy God. Thou shalt not have uh, other gods before me. Thou shalt not make to thyself any graven images. I'll scroll down here. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother, yada, yada, yada. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. I'm at 10. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his cattle, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. By my count, that's 11. I'm just saying. It's telling they did not number the poster because maybe they would have caught this, but there are 11 things on there, which I find hilarious, and that's the text that has to be on here. Um, in addition to all that, it says schools have to basically pay for their own posters, but if they are donated or someone gives cash so you could buy posters, you have to take it. But this poster would be in every classroom in Louisiana public schools. OK, uh, the same woman who sponsored this, by the way, years ago, she sponsored a don't say gay bill that would have banned any discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity through 12th grade um, and teacher. I'm sorry, through eighth grade. But if you were a, a teacher of 12th graders and you even mentioned that you're gay, you could be punished as well. That bill didn't go anywhere, but it tells you what kind of Christian this person is. Um so a couple things about this list, and I've said some of this before when other states tried to do this as well. It is so weird to me that the same people who don't want high schoolers learning about sex or systemic racism or the existence of trans people, they have very specific things. They want kindergartners to know about adultery and their neighbor's maidservants. So that's weird. 
uh, the list is not going to solve any problems. No potential school shooter has ever plotted out uh, a path of destruction only to reconsider it after realizing the Ten Commandments say, thou shalt not kill? Oh, not. Got it. Like, if students need a sign to remember, to remind them not to murder others, they got bigger problems. And you know what would help in that situation? Mental health workers counselors, social workers, and whatnot. But Louisiana lawmakers right now are considering a different bill to get Christian chaplains in school. So they don't care about mental health either because they're not trying to hire experts. Um, and that, all of that is ignoring the fact that like four of those commandments are just flat out useless since they forbid like false gods, making graven images, taking God's name in vain, not keeping the Sabbath day holy. Like that has nothing to do with anything. Who cares? Um, and okay, we can get on board with thou shalt not kill. But guess what? In Louisiana right now, uh, guess what they're trying to do? Let's look at this. Oh, check it out. This is an article from the Associated Press recently. Uh, Louisiana advances a bill expanding death penalty methods because they want to resume executions. And they just don't have enough drugs to do it the traditional way. I was reading about this a little bit. And uh, what interested me is that in a discussion about uh, abortion and things like that, somebody asked Dodie Horton um, about the death penalty for rapists. And let me show you what she said. Uh, Dodie Horton, who voted against the bill, said she would support the death penalty for rapists. I'd love to hang them from the highest tree if it was in my power to do so. But I cannot condone killing the innocent, by which she was referring to fetuses. And I have no sympathy, obviously, for rapists. I just want to say, even for the worst of the worst or something, here's a woman who's saying, I love the death penalty. In fact, I want to hang them from a tree. Also, she wants to make sure every school has a sign that says thou shalt not kill. So, I mean, we're talking about total hypocrisy here. So again, the list has no purpose. I don't know why kindergartners need to be told they should not commit adultery. If, if I told you that was in a children's book, I'm sure the same woman would want it banned. Um, I'm not sure which teachers in Louisiana are clamoring for the government to force this to happen. Who's lob which teachers are lobbying the legislature for the ability to tell kids they're going to burn in hell for all of eternity if they don't follow a set of mostly arbitrary rules. I have no idea. Um, so as this is happening, one of the interesting things is that fellow Republicans are trying to downplay the religious nature of the Ten Commandments. This is a line I really liked from a Republican he said, the purpose of the Ten Commandments, the purpose is not solely religious, this senator told the Senate. The ten, it's the Ten Commandments' historical significance, which is simply one of many documents that display the history of our country and foundation of our legal system. See, you guys, it's not religious. Now, don't take his God's name in vain, and you better keep the Sabbath day holy. But this gets to the heart of the matter. Like, if they just said you got to put the Ten Commandments up in the classroom, that is obviously illegal. I mean, courts everywhere, including the Supreme Court, have said that's just a government promotion of Christianity. What the Supreme Court has also said is, OK, we'll allow a Ten Commandments monument to go up as long as it's part of a broader project uh, talking about like legal history or the history of the country. So outside the Texas state capitol, yeah, they have a monument of the Ten Commandments but they also have other monuments to like the Declaration of Independence and whatnot. And so this is what the state Senate decided to do about all this. They decided to make big changes to the bill. And let me show you what they're trying to do. They're trying to really make sure church state separation groups cannot file a lawsuit after this bill is signed into law, which is totally going to happen, by the way. And so they made a bunch of changes to the bill, trying to make sure it's going to pass legal muster. And I want to show you uh, their changes because they're very interesting ones. This is the amendment that was adopted, and it's long. But here's the thing. Um, check this out. Uh, oh, my God, where did it go? 
they're saying all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very boring. Okay, this is the part I wanted to show you. First, they want to add a disclaimer to every poster. You know, like if you ever go to a museum and you see a piece of art and then next to it, there's a little label with like the painter's name and the type of painting, the material that was used, whatnot. This is what they want. They want a disclaimer. The Ten Commandments shall be displayed with a context statement that doesn't mention Jesus. All right. So it says the history of the Ten Commandments in American public education. And I'm not going to read all this, but it says it's a big part of our American public education for three centuries. In 1688, there was a book that contained more than 40 questions about the Ten Commandments. None of you know what that book is. None of you have studied it. It's not really that important. But in 1688, when slavery was around, but like the United States definitely was not, this was important. And then part two of the disclaimer says the McGuffey readers, the famous textbooks from the 1800s and whatnot, uh, they were also included in there. And they were in textbooks published by Noah Webster, which was used a lot. Uh, it included the Ten Commandments too. So you see you, everybody, the Ten Commandments were printed in books that were used for centuries long before the United States existed and before our immigration laws allowed people to come from other countries. And when the country was like 99.9% .9 Christian and before anyone knew what evolution was, it turns out people believed in God a lot more and they were all the same religion uh, cause, cause of course they were. And therefore, I don't know how this helps. Do you get my point? This disclaimer does not change the fact that this is a religious document. Um, the other thing they say in here, which is kind of hilarious, is that they want to make a big change, uh, right here. Um, oh my God, where's the part I wanted to show you? Did I lose it? Oh, no, here it is. Look at number four right here. A public school may also display the Mayflower Compact, the Declaration of Independence, and the Northwest Ordinance. Basically, three historical documents that make reference to God um, to show that, you guys, the Ten Commandments are just one of many historical documents. Because, again, before they knew what evolution was, they had all these documents that made references to the Lord or our creator or something like that. But look at the language here. A public school may also display those three things. So the Ten Commandments has to go up, but these other three documents could, if you feel like it, go up. So the bottom line is the Senate passed that amendment, but the, ultimately, the law says the Ten Commandments, as written in that first part of the bill I showed you, that has to go up on every classroom. And the Senate says, yeah, but we're going to put a little sign on the side that says, you guys, it's not religious. And also, you could put the Declaration of Independence next to it or something. That doesn't change the fact that this is a religious law. This is elevating religion. It's elevating Christianity. It, and it's going to be illegal if they pass it. Um, after that Senate passed that amendment, and then they passed the bill, uh, a coalition of groups were like, you guys, Louisiana, don't make this mistake. Check this out. Look at all these groups right here. The American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU of Louisiana, Americans United for Separation of Church and State, the Freedom from Religion Foundation, Southern Poverty Law Center. They all issued a joint statement saying the following, the bill is unconstitutional. The state may not require public schools to display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. We all oppose this measure because it violates students and families' fundamental right to religious freedom. Our public schools are not Sunday schools, and students of all faith or no faith should feel welcome in them. They're basically signaling to Louisiana, hey, Jeff Landry, governor, if you sign this, the lawsuit is coming. So don't make the mistake because the law is on our side. Even with a crazy right-wing Supreme Court, the law is on our side. And the question now is whether Louisiana is going to go through with it. Here's what has to happen right now. That Senate amendment is going back to the House. They're going to have to, next week, they're going to figure out if they accept the Senate's version of the bill. Let's say the House does, because it was an overwhelming vote the first time with the dumber bill. Then it goes to the governor's signature. And the governor 
is like a mega cultist type of Republican. He just signed like an abortion pill ban today. So he's probably going to sign it too. And then all hell's going to break loose because there's no way this thing is legal. There's no way it should be legal anyway. So I hope it doesn't go through. But again, it's such a bad idea that a virtually identical version of this bill failed in Oklahoma this year. And a Democrat said at the time the bill was unconstitutional, exclusionary, and dangerous. And they undermine religious freedom in the country. Um, but I, I will leave you, before I finish this story, I will say there's there's one silver lining to all this. Because you may have noticed in the bill, uh, the requirement said it had to be a certain size. Uh, it had to be posted in classrooms. It had to be legible. It did not say... The Ten Commandments had to be written in English. And because of that, an activist named Chaz Stevens, who's kind of been a thorn in the side of a lot of uh, right-wing governors and whatnot, he shared with me some mock-ups of Ten Commandments posters he plans to send to Louisiana schools if this bill passes. Let me share some of them with you here. Uh, there is, of course, uh, this one right here, which is written in Arabic. I'm sure the Christian nationalists will love it. So there's that one. I like that one. There is also this one, which is in English, um, but it's mirror image because the bill didn't say it couldn't be a mirror image. Uh, so it's is it legible? Technically, yes. Uh, so I like that one. There is also this one, which... Uh, does put the Ten Commandments front and center, but it does have a nice little background there. That's cute. That'll be fun. Um, so that's an enjoyable. My favorite one, though, my favorite one is this one that is legible, but just kind of highlights the important words. Uh, kids will love it. Uh, you may notice that the word ass is at the bottom, and technically in Louisiana bill, it said cattle. So he couldn't get out. Chaz cannot get away with putting ass on the poster, but he could highlight kill, adultery, and steal, and it would still work. And again, all of this is to say, if he wanted to, he could send these posters to Louisiana schools as donations. And if they have no other options, they could put them up. If any administrator wants to uh, push back against the administration, the, the governor's office rather, they could put these up. Because again, that it still fits the letter of the law. So you could do it. Could be fun. I'll stop there for now. I'll take any questions. Some, I saw someone right here. I'm sorry. I'm going to jump in here really quick, Dan. Uh, right here. Maybe they should write it in Klingon. It's funny you say, I know you're joking. Chaz has made posters in Klingon because in other states, when they forced uh, schools to put up in God We Trust posters and things like that, uh, he made a bunch of versions in a bunch of different languages. Klingon was one of them. So uh, it could happen. Uh, what do we have here? They probably want the lawsuits with that Supreme Court. They think they can win. I, I don't disagree necessarily, Olivia. I think you have a point. Maybe they're itching for that fight because they think uh, they have the people on their side. But if there's one thing about this Supreme Court, it's that they have pushed back against dumb cases because even like Brett Kavanaugh is like, you cannot send me this case, even though I want to do the thing you want me to do. I can't do it with this. You got to give me some room to twist the facts. And when they're so blatantly pushing Christianity, like this woman in Louisiana is, I, I don't even think the Supreme Court can get on board with it. I don't think they want to play that game with something this dumb. As any educator knows that much text on a poster is meaningless, we use anchor charts that support students and reduce useless distractions. This is just a flex by the Christian nationalists. Love jazz and their designs. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong at all. It's Kids are not going to be reading the Ten Commandments um, unless they're extremely bored and they want something to make fun of and they're not allowed to use phones in the classroom. Uh, if anything, those posters are going to have selective edits made to them by students, I'm sure at some point or another. Again, it goes back to the fact that these aren't helpful. The kids are going to make fun of them. They're not going to look at them and be like, 
what's this list? I've never heard of any of these things. Who knew you were supposed to not kill? Yeah, I imagine I saw the Ten Commandments. Oh, you were saying you saw an image of the Ten Commandments that had the second commandment missing. That actually, I posted about this earlier today. There is a man, singular, not a lawmaker, but a guy in Minnesota who wants his personal school district to erect a monument of the Ten Commandments outside the school district. That's even more illegal than what we're talking about here. But in the mock-up he presented to the school board of like, this is what it would look like, it was literally missing commandment number two. Like it went from commandment one, commandment three, and so on. It's like, maybe you should learn how to count before you tell kids what they need to be learning. I don't know. Um, but the like you mentioned here, Kelly, uh, the commandment that was missing was don't worship false idols. And if there's one thing we know about Republicans, it's that they love their false idols. I hope the Satanic Temple tries to get their seven tenets in the schools too. That's an interesting point to make, but I don't think it would work in this particular case because, again, the law is saying we're allowing the Christian one to go up, but not because it's Christian and not because it says Jesus or anything. It's historical. And by that logic, the Satanic Temple doesn't have an equal right sort of case to make there. So I don't think this particular solution is going to work. A, a lawsuit could work because it's illegal what they're trying to do, but I don't think the Satanic Temple could get on board with this particular... They may try, but I don't think it would, work. it would work. I really don't understand why some people want to move backwards. Man, I don't live in the South either. I, I don't know why. It's sad. And as they said in this Ten Commandments thing, it's not like they want to move backwards to like 1970. They want to move backwards to like 1680s when all good things happen for everyone. I think the Bill of Rights has more business being on every classroom wall than the Ten Commandments. Fair point. But these people do not care about rights <laughs> of any sort. Certainly not for people they despise. Women, people of color, gay people. Like, doesn't matter. They don't like rights. They don't want kids to learn about the rights they have. <laughs> 